So recently I picked up Pal World and I really enjoyed my first time playing it. So today I decided to jump back in and play it a little bit more and see if I could just pretty much get good at the game. Try to get out of the early game. Try to get into some of the, quite frankly, just cooler looking pals, into the weapons, into the more dangerous situations, and sort of get a grasp of what the game has to offer because it's currently the most popular game in the world and I didn't want to miss out on all the fun. So I logged in and I intended on basically just playing for the day and advancing my skill in the game and my understanding of the mechanics and immediately I got hit with a base raid. Luckily I had the wherewithal to try and capture some of these pals because they were both creatures that I had never seen before and I successfully captured one of them. Over the next couple of days I was really struggling to have enough ingots to do crafting with both for repair and for crafting new items. And furthermore, my low level was preventing me from unlocking some technology that was needed to upgrade the PAL box. So basically, I did a whole bunch of grinding. And as things moved along, I did start getting that sort of that sense, that feel that you get when you're kind of on the right track and you're doing things the optimal way. I sort of reorganized the layout of the base. I got an idea of what PALs I needed to work, what PALs I needed to just put away forever. I started crafting some new furniture, some new workbenches. And then it was time to test my metal out in the wild. I paid a visit to the Pen King, who had defeated me swiftly before, and he defeated yeah. me swiftly again. Really not that surprising, I don't think. So I paid him another visit, thinking that I had learned from my lessons that I would defeat him this next time. But I was definitely wrong. So what did I do? I went back to the Pen King's lair, and just as I was about to enter, I turned around and ran away. I got kind of scared off. I didn't want to die again. But on the beach nearby, I captured a Sparket for the first time, my 20th species of pal. So we've established one thing here. I'm not good at combat yet. I don't really know what I'm doing yet, but I've made some progress. Back at the base, I was incubating a large damp egg and guess what that turned out to be? A freaking pen king. Ah, oh, who's the king of the penguins now? The pen king is actually great. He has level two in mining, which means he can mine ore. And that's what got me onto this new project. I wanted to make a self-sustaining ore and ingot producing farm. So I set off on a big exploration mission, going to uncharted areas of the map that I had never been to before, both to level up, practice my combat skills, get familiar with my pals and all of the controls and stuff, but also looking for suitable base building locations, particularly one that's rich in ore. I captured a whole bunch of brand new pals, and I even rescued some from the syndicate. And I finally stumbled up onto one of these fruit trees. Turns out these fruits actually teach your pals new attacks. Not something I got into just yet. I didn't want to waste fruit using them incorrectly, so it's something I wanted to do some research on later and revisit this another time. I also discovered that you can slide at 45 miles an hour, which is really fun. And things were going great at the base. Some of my new pals were helping me make this Nightwing saddle. The Nightwing is my flying bird creature, and it's so far it's it's probably my most powerful pal. It's probably my favorite pal as well. Being able to ride her around would be even better. Oh my god, this is the best thing ever. What a good investment that turned out to be. Oh, and Nightwing just has the best attacks. But all good things must come to an end, and that is when our biggest base raid yet finally started. Um, attack the invaders! Oh, I see him up there. Quickly, behind the sandbags. A platoon of syndicate thugs, all armed with firearms. I felt very outclassed, but nonetheless, we would hold our ground. Attack, attack, attack. Okay, things. this is getting out of hand very quickly. What? Am I supposed to be building base defenses? Yeah, that's probably the case. I need to look into that. All I have for an option right now are sandbags, though. Oh, no, I'm going to die. All right, send in the cannon fodder. Forward, pals. Not one step back. The battle might have gone in our favor, but confidence is what killed the cat. And I would meet my demise not once, not twice, but three times in the short time thereafter. What can I say? I always learn my lessons the hard way. However, I finally did get into some defensive fortifications. I built up a wooden palisade wall on the side of the base that has always been attacked so far. I think we've sustained either three or four base raids and they've all come from two directions and both of them funnel into this one area so I put the wall up over there. It might not look like much right now but it did function as intended especially once I put the gate on a little bit later. And now 
It was time to return to the Pen King's lair, my arch nemesis so far. And after a little bit of back and forth, he went straight into a PAL sphere. I set out for some more exploration, this time exploring some of the southwestern islands that were pretty close by. Turns out they were all filled with pretty tame creatures that were much below my level. I'd ventured off into some other parts of the map where they were like level 20, 25, 30, and definitely felt like I was going in the wrong direction over there. And it was on this particular mission that I captured some of my most powerful pals yet. Definitely a huge win and a boon for future boss battles. Like this sweep I hear that I also managed to capture, but my fight against the Broncherry did not go as well. Two steps forward, one step back. And now it was time to set up the ore farm. Of course, it starts out with the PAL box. Currently, I'm only able to make two of these, one for the primary base and one for our farming base. I had the PALs build up a storage. I put down a few beds for them. And in order to keep their sanity levels high, I built them a hot spring as well. I set down a primitive furnace. I figured we could do all the smelting while we're right over here. Set down a food trough so they can eat. And then a berry plantation so they can grow their own food while they're over here. I don't have to micromanage all that. So initially, this was supposed to be just two or three PALs over here. But as I was going through this, I was kind of realizing, okay, I'm going to need like 10 pals to, to manage all of these workstations at the same time. But in the end, I think things were working pretty well. The pals were growing their own food, putting it in the food trough. Everyone was out doing jobs. The pen kings were doing the mining. Only the pen kings so far can do the mining, so... It's important to send them all over here. The box parks were making the ingots and everyone else was just kind of loafing around, hauling, doing their own thing. Back at the main base, I finally got a cooking pot crafted. This was the final thing that I needed to upgrade my pal box. And with that out of the way, it was time to continue to level up because every time I leveled up and upgraded my pal box, I was on to the next phase to get the next items to upgrade the pal box, which meant more leveling. And who better to level up on than King Paka? I wasn't just here for sport, I was here to capture the King Paka. And capture him, I did. Returning to the main base, I set down an additional egg incubator. I'm finding enough eggs in the wild now that I felt like I needed another one because the eggs were starting to pile up and sometimes I get good creatures out of this, so. And it was at that point that I kind of felt comfortable with where I was at. I had relearned the controls, I had learned some of the mechanics, I had a clear goal in mind of what I was trying to do, I had a little bit of confidence after having many successes, despite many failures. And so this is where we pick up our adventure live. So welcome back to the base everyone, I wish I could have done more to dress the place up, but um, I've just been kind of trying to level things up at this point, because I would really like to select a new base location, I don't like how we're on a lower elevation than this cliff right here. But yeah, otherwise just trying to advance my character, upgrade the base, and get the hang of things here because there's a lot more to this game than I ever anticipated there being and I'm loving it. I've captured a ton of pals. I have some like boss pals. I have flying pals. I've, I don't know. I. They all have special utility. I haven't quite gotten around to nailing all that down yet, but I do have a pretty good crew here. I've got the King Paka and Nightwing, and I think those are like my favorites. Oh, and this Incineram over here is pretty cool too. I just got to look at King Paka because he is, he is the biggest pal that I currently own. <laughs> He's awesome. So at this point, the goal for today is going to be upgrading the base hopefully once if not twice more i want to get max number of bases up to three so if i can get three then i can build another base somewhere the reason i already have two of course is because we have the mining base which is right over here i'm gonna go check on things nope not there over here over here at the mining base i've been working on trying to set up automation because as far as i can tell these guys over here have all the tools that they need to just constantly mine ore and then every once in a while, I'll... Wait, we're getting raided? Here? Here or at the other place? Oh, um... I don't... I don't know that I like the looks of this. Nope, nope, here they are, here they are. Oh, who, who are these people? The Free Pal Alliance. Okay, um... Wow, King Pekka help! And, um, just whatever you do, don't destroy stuff. I don't know if they can destroy stuff, but that hot tub over there, don't destroy the hot tub. The pals need the hot tub here. All right, King Pekka, you're doing... Did, did you kill everybody, King Paka? That is, whatever you were doing was devastatingly effective. You guys are great. I don't even know that we need defenses over here. We lost one person. We, we, we lost the little bunny rabbit. Oh yeah, but look at that. They've been doing some great work over here, mining some stone. They've been 
harvesting some wood, probably doing a lot of things they don't need to be doing, but um, what I want to see here is what's the ore situation? See, only 37, and that was roughly what it was the last time I checked on these guys, so it's not going as quickly as I would have liked, but I mean, I did just pull 34 iron ingots out, and that puts us up to 39, so actually we're doing pretty good over here. Oh, and everyone's doing a great job cleaning up the big mess that we made, and um, some of you are really tripping out about it. What are you guys trying to do over here? Oh, they're, they're trying to work on mining, okay. Well, I'll leave them to it then. What I would like to do is, oh, there's a cave there. On second thought, I was gonna say I wanna explore further to the north, but, hello? Robin Quill? Oh, excuse me. I don't I didn't realize we were on hostile terms, but so be it. Oh, you've got a you've got a bow? You shoot bow and arrow. Okay. Ow, oh, that hurt. Okay, King Pekka. Show her who is the boss. Take that! Oh, it's effective. Okay, actually, we need to prepare to potentially capture this one if we Nope, dead. Someone else is attacking, though. Did she have a friend? Or it's the Free Pal Alliance making a mess of things as usual. Right, let's see if we can capture that one over there. King Packet, you're too powerful for your own good. Let's this time try Incineram out. I think he looks really cool, so I'd like to level him up and get some experience with him. Yep, Robin Quill, level 25. Goodness. Not sure if I can even capture someone like that. I'm sure I can, but... It, it might require my one giga pal ball. Ooh, ow. No, Incineram is just making short work of her. And capture. Oh, only 2% chance. Well, up to 13. Come on, I've nailed like a 4% capture so far today. No, too much. Yeah, I've been pretty lucky. Let's try this last one. I think Incineram. I'm feeling confident with this guy around. This time I will flank around to the rear and immediately get detected, I guess. Look out. Incineram is dead. Oh, missed that part. Here, go wolf thing. Dire, dire howl. Oh, no. Okay, she had some sort of a mortar attack. Yeah, I wish I could say that was the first time I've died today, but it is definitely not. That's probably the 10th time that I've died today. <laughs> I'm just, just trying to, oh, trying to get the hang of things here. Okay, so she's going to be hostile, or he this time. Yeah, okay. Dire howl or Nightwing? Yeah. Ooh. Somebody distract her and I gotta go get my stuff. Yep, Nightwing is down. Okay, Nightwing's always down. What about you, Loot Moon? Yeah, that attack there is not good. Stay away. There you go, Loot Moon. Go get her. Ow. Also tank for me if you would. Wow. Ah, I'm trying to get the ball down there. I got her. Okay, Loot Moon, you go away. We're yeah. just gonna keep trying with the, um, what are these, the, the Mega Spheres. Do the best we can. Might have to try to sneak one more shot in. There we go. Again. Yeah, she killed her. Okay, so those those creatures there, they I think they need a stronger ball to capture them or sphere. Gonna proceed with the original plan then, the original alternate plan, that is, and um, go inside this cave here and see what's going on. The Free Pal Alliance, huh? Level 23 as well. Huge jump in this neighborhood. Maybe this is not where we should be hanging out so much. Well, we are trying to level up anyway. We need to level up. We need to get the weapon bench. Hopefully I can get myself some kind of a gun at that point. We can work on ammo production. Speaking of, I'm going to take this sulfur while I'm here. I'm sure this is used for gunpowder. But yeah, I figured the thing that we needed to basically kickstart the playthrough here is uh, we needed to just get some levels and stuff. Wait, oh, there are other loot moon down here. I was gonna say, like, how did you wind up in the water down there? That answers that question, though. We've got more of them in here somewhere. Also, we have those things. Uh, bee guards. Okay, we might be a little out of our league here, or perhaps a lot out of our league. Oh, are th they're, they're bombs, they're bombs. No, 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 ow. I'm sorry, loot moon. Loot Moon died. I'm on fire as well. You mind maybe laying down in the water for a second? Right, and then this usually opens up into the boss fight. Oh my goodness, who's that? It's a Grintail. Doesn't look like he has any friends. Level 28, so well out of our league. But uh, we might as well give it a try, I think. Well, we need someone that's, you know, of equal size, right? Pick on someone your own size. So, King Paka, I choose you. Oh, <laughs> Grintail was like, huh, what? Well, take that. Oh, 
He's got he's got the King Paka attack, the big body slam. Okay, I've decided that King Paka will distract. I will go steal the loot. We're not gonna kill this guy. We we're barely 10% into it. The classic case of biting off more than I can chew. <laughs> oh, it won't let me through unless the boss is killed. That makes a lot of sense too, doesn't it? Well, what do you say we live to fight another day? Let's get out of here, guys. Now we know what we're getting into over here. We can set this as a goal for when I get some proper weapons, maybe. All right, we're just about to set off to, I think it's those islands over that way, but I did want to show you guys something before we head out. I've been scouting for some new base locations and Although this one here is tempting on the beach, I think that this location over here has much more going on for it in terms of natural defenses. We have a cliff all along this face here. It's accessible from the back over there. And lastly, you can just make out this rock wall on the back side. So all in all, I think this would be a great place to set up a new base. I wanna build a new base and build it out of stone and um, just lay it out in a way so that Pal transport lines i guess you know just to cut down on transportation and traffic jams basically you know get their food put in the proper location their beds put in a proper location i've learned a lot about how to set up a base in just by playing for a little while so i think starting all over with some nice natural defenses against raids would be great and i think this is a prime candidate to do that the only thing is not a lot in terms of natural resources so let me know what you think. And in the meantime, I'm gonna try to fly just low altitude so I don't use my stamina. Just try to get over to this other island over here. Oh, and while you're at it, if you don't mind, um, let me know your strategy. Like what, what, um, what pals are you bringing with you for the most part? Uh, you know, ones that I have access to. Like if I've overlooked a certain pal that I should really consider bringing with me, just just let me know that please it's one of those games where there's there's a lot of information lots of pals lots of abilities lots of combinations let's unlock that point there and just hop back on the nightwing if you could be so kind thank you oh catrice there there's a boss here somewhere where is the catrice aha uh -huh. oh it's an arena boss okay yeah i should have plenty of ammo now 137 crossbow bolts oh, i really would like to get some guns but we've got to level up to do that and killing bosses like this is probably the best way to level up so in we go there she is the catrice and fortunately no minions because minions always complicate things and what are you you're dark so what what would be good against dark? Let's have a look at the crew here. Incineram. Incineram's yeah. good against everything, pretty much. So you and me are going to do this first. Go ahead whenever you're ready, bud. He has an ability. It's called Flame Claw Hunter. I will activate that, although I don't know exactly what it's doing. Is that, that just that charging attack that he just did? I need to hide because <laughs> two or three shots probably would kill me. Okay, I think we're faring whoop, better than... The last boss, this seems to be slightly less tanky, slightly less powerful, and whenever you have an opponent that wants to do ranged attacks primarily, it's great. You can just keep your distance, you get more reaction time for dodging, it's all gonna be fine here. Okay, she's about halfway, she does have the heat-seeking dark magic missile thing. Yeah, she's about to try and run up to me and cast it again, I'll just more or less let her do it. Oh no, she was trying to do that, my bad. I read that wrong. Oh, there it is, the little glowy orb thing. All right, we've almost got her down. I do have the mega spheres out, hoping that I can catch this thing, but I'm not gonna hold my breath on it. Currently, chance is 5%. Okay, we'll just wait for Incineram to burn her a little bit more. Nope, we killed her. I figured that would happen. You gotta get the Giga Spheres to capture those things. Oh, I'm hot. Yeah, I wonder why, what's going on? Okay, we got the kill then. And did we level up or anything? Technology, I think that we did. We're trying to unlock the weapon workbench. Yes, okay, and then ingots, wood, and nail. We should be fine to get that all crafted up, see if we can get ourselves a pump shotgun, or geez, I'd even settle for like a, a little revolver or anything, really. Oh, here we go. Just checking on the folks over here at the mining area and check this out. They must have mined up a ton of ore, 144 ore there. So immediately start working on 72 ingots. 
Right, here we go. Weapon workbench going down. Help me out, guys, before you go to bed. Appreciate you guys. All right, what can we craft here? No guns. I don't see any guns. What? No. Oh, got a grappling gun. It's definitely not what I was looking for, though. Okay, so uh, what's going on here? Do we have to just unlock those guns then at some point? Oh, the mu- Jeez, oh, we gotta start off with the musket. Okay. When I was talking about any gun, it was like beyond 1900, basically. At the very least, we can upgrade our base now. Okay, for the next level of the base, we need to be level 24 because it's going to require the fluffy pal bed. So it looks like building a new base is way off. I, every time I've been here to upgrade the base and I've been looking at the max number of bases, two to four, uh, two, two, I've been looking for it to say two to three, so. Okay, so we're, we're gonna have to table the construction project for a while, at least until level 24 when I can build the fluffy pal beds and deploy some more workers around the base. Oh, incubation is complete. We've got a couple of new pals. It's like opening a present here. You never know what you're gonna get. A pen king, which is great because they're the only level two miners that I've had access to. So he's gonna go to work straight over at the other base there. And that was a Grintail. Nice. Okay, so we've got a fresh new Grintail here. I don't think he, he's not very good for much. He's good for basically just gardening and that's it. Disappointing. Okay, well, time to take a nap anyway. Oh, we gotta pack up the incubators first. I got a whole bunch of eggs here. We need to hatch them all. Okay, so with that, we're still just heckin' bottlenecked by our level and our ability to expand the bases. My mission then is to continue capturing pals and exploring until I reach a point where those things are unlocked for me. Damn, that was hardcore, man. Okay. Loop Moon, you are not one to be trifled with, are you? Go get him. Check this out. Wow. Ripped him right to shreds. Yeah, I mean, I've pretty much traversed this whole island at this point. Do we want to also check out this island over here and see if there's anything special over there? Yeah. This one has been more or less a bust. Aha, wandering merchant. Also, a pal merchant over here. I have heard you can capture these people and bring them home so that you have... A pal trader next to you. Buy first, see what you have here. Oh, some people I haven't seen before. I don't have my money with me though. What can I sell? Oh, I can sell any of my pals, even the ones that are back home. Well, here, definitely you can have some of the Kativas. I have like a million of those guys. We'll make it an even 10. That's gonna net me a thousand gold. Nice, gimme. Let's just clean house a little bit here. Okay, that's gonna net me 3,773 coin. Yes, still not able. I can buy the gobfin thing. It's a muscle head, hydro jet, some kind of a water thing. Angry shark, it says. Okay, I really wanted the univolt, but uh, I'll take the gobfin, I suppose. Why not? Look, we'll give it a try. I don't want to leave empty handed. And th we've got schematics for different types of hats here. I do wish that they would show me what the hat looked like instead of this stupid blue piece of paper. Ah, this is the Eastern Wild Island. Okay, that sounds a little bit more up my alley than where we were before. Oh yes, the Capridi is what it's called. Capridi, okay. I think that makes some kind of a good meal as well. Let me off here. You go away. Don't need your help here today. See if we can capture this. And 33% chance on a regular sphere there. Nope, another. Got it. Yes, new pal, the Capriti. The shrub on the pal's back produces berries, as long as it's properly fed, nice. I do wanna check and see what's on top of this big mountain. There's gotta be something up here. Not a thing. There's something going on over here though. Ah, a black marketeer. <laughs> oh, how do you do? Well, let's check and see what he has for sale, although completely out of money right now, so won't be able to make any purchases. Look at this guy. <laughs> he's the perfect face for a slave trader. Oh, wait a minute. He's in the market of contraband. Oh, okay. So contraband pals, I guess. War sect. That guy looks pretty cool. 15 grand for him though. And we have the incineram. So maybe we, we have an illegal pal. I like what you're doing with the place though, especially that guillotine over there. Keep, t you do you man. I'll see you later. All right, depresso. I hate to do it, but I kind of, I need to collect them all. So you're going to have to be captured. <sighs> 54% chance, see if we get it. Got him. One more on the list. It has few friends because of the perpetually grouchy look on its face, but it is in fact kind-hearted. Got an FG here, another one right there. 
And one more on top of this huge rock spire thing that I'm on. Grab that and wow. It's, you probably can't see it, it's quite dark. I'm having trouble seeing it myself, but we've got a massive vantage point from here. But also we have just massive lava flows over here. I need to get a closer look. There might be some really good fire pals down there. Yes, we, we have a whole bunch of fire pals here. Okay, okay. Um, you, you gotta go away. There's an R socks over there. <laughs> the names of these things. Oh, it's great. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can capture a couple of these guys. Okay, 18% chance. I've seen better, but I've also seen worse. I'll get the mega spheres out just in case. Nope. Got it. What's that up there as well? All kinds of new things here. Oh, those are new. All right, this this would be really bad if I died out here. So we have to play things relatively conservatively unless we find a teleport beacon out here. Yeah, those R socks are much higher level and they look to be much tougher as well. Okay. So, first things first, teleport beacon, and then try to get some new pals. Look at these girls here, Wixens. And then what's behind you? Mosanda. Don't go anywhere, guys, I will be back. Okay, finally found a teleport beacon, as well as a boss we might be able to check on. Just be careful, there are level 25 free pal alliance devouts down there with guns. Whoops, and that, I said be careful. <laughs> Wrong button, I guess. Oh, we have, Goriots over here. Those are ape-like creatures that... Okay, okay, yeah, they do that. Okay, if they're 20, level 25 on the outside, I don't even want to know necessarily what they are on the, the inside, that boss battle over there. That is going to be a level 35 Verdash. So we've very quickly ventured from <laughs> too easy to way too difficult. However, with a sitting off point nearby, I think we can go over here and try to capture some more of those fire pals. All right, there we go. Our socks. A lone one by the looks of it as well. Let's just uh, send over a wind cutter attack to him. See if we can draw him up here just a little. Ooh, ow. Oh, and there's a massive battle taking place right next door. So continue drawing him this way. Ah, there's queen bees over there. Nope, let's just stay here. All right. It's the strongest attack that we have right there. How did that do? That did great. Yeah. Capture, capture, capture. Only 40%. I'll just throw another one if he gets free there, but nope. Got him. Our socks. In ancient times, carnivorous pals pursued them relentlessly. So I wonder if they have the flame attack that they can uh, man the forges and stuff. We need to find something a little bit more efficient in the forges. Okay, there was at least one more creature. Here it is over here that we need to try and capture while we're here. Yes, the Wixen. Yep, tornado attack and <laughs> into the water with you. And 16% chance. That's not good. Whoop, I lost my mount. That's not good. I am overheating right now. Help. Well, we got the capture anyway. Wixen, with the power of light, it produces arcane phenomena. It prefers to eat food well done and is particularly hostile towards Catrus. Oh, there is a boss. Jormuntide, level 45. And you can summon him over here somewhere, I think. Or he's just hanging out over there. I'm not sure. I'm screwed, though. So without a, a flying mount, I guess I'm... God, I'm gonna have to try to walk back to some kind of a teleport beacon somewhere. This ought to be fun. Oh, yes, the Masanda. Oh, <laughs> level 27. I'm not even gonna try it. Oh, I will watch these guys try it, though. Whoa. Goodbye. <laughs> He's not stopping. He's just gone into orbit. Oh, geez. You see that? That rock came out of the ground and just killed that guy. Okay, well, I like my chances. Whoa, a lot more now. Oh, hold up, hold up. Oh, my. Yeah, I'll let these guys handle it. I, I don't need anything to do with that level 26 action there. Way out of my league. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Not you guys. Oh, crap. I need a pal. Go distract. Go distract. I'm running. They're hot on my tail. Oh. But the- ow, Oh, I'm getting shot too. Oh, geez. Okay, my plan then is to fly. I've got this nice glider. It's going to use a lot of my stamina, but should get us to relative safety down here somewhere. Oop. Nope, we're good. Oh, teleport. We need that. Here we go. Okay, and then let's just go home immediately. We got to fix all of our pals up. Yep, run away. Okay, last thing I think is to check on the incubated eggs. See what we get here. Nothing special probably, but... Um, yeah, Celerage just sold all of them, so 
One more for selling, I suppose. And this is a frozen egg, common quality. Gotta chill it there. And that is my 50th kind of pal. Oh, no, 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 no. Raid. Toko Toko implode unit. What is that? Okay, okay. Um, two arms, two arms. Okay, who who's my best warrior here? Incinerams, pretty good. I think they're going to attack the wall. Historically, they've always attacked the wall. Oh, here they come, here they come. I can see them on the mini-map. On the mini-map, you can see them. Uh, on the uh, the compass, I should say. They should be rolling up in this direction here. Yes, Toko Toko implode unit. They are at the gates. Beeping? Why is everyone eating at the same time as well? Okay, the base is on fire. We have a penguin extinguishing. I'm gonna head outside, see if I can deal with this. Here, get me some pals out here. Uh, Toko Toko, let's try and capture that. I haven't found one of those before. I've seen them for sale with the merchants though. Nope, try it again. I don't care how many spears this takes, I'm having that. I will weaken him further with the baseball bat. Just don't let him implode like that. Capture him before that happens. 86%. Are you kidding me? What is wrong with you? Get in the sphere. Now it's a 3% chance. Well, it says 14 now. I'm just gonna shoot this thing at the, oh. From 3% to fully captured. Nice. What happened over here anyway? Oh, just immediately encumbered. All right, it's not important. What's important right now is that the entire base is on fire, as well as, I, yeah, this is not good, guys. Can we work on this? We've got chickpeas on fire. <laughs> We've got the entire defensive wall on fire. Here, what we need to do, I think, is exchange for more water pals very quickly now. Anyone who can spray water needs to get out. Go, 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 go. Extinguish, extinguish. Use water, use ice. Oh. Nope, pieces are breaking now. We're gonna have to build a new defensive gate, at least. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, these stupid pals, man. All right, my friends, I'm gonna work on getting this fire put out and probably just constructing an entirely new defensive wall. And we will pick things up in a couple of days, probably, because I need to do some grinding on my own to level up a little bit more. I want to have a firearm and I want to be able to build a new base for the next episode. So anyway, my friends, thank you very much for joining me on my adventure today. And I will see you hopefully in the next one. Just make sure you bring your fire extinguisher next time. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.